Well, racism hit close to home for a Portsmouth woman. She awoke to graffiti outside her house, and that's when she called police. Then, 10 on your side. Andy Fox has this story you'll see only on 10. Andy? Yeah, Tom, this is Barbara Penn. She's the homeowner. She's the one who called 10 on your side. She has a beautiful front yard, and this morning she came out of that door and looked down on the street and saw something that angered her and terrified her and made her feel like she was a prisoner in her own home. Barbara Penn calls this her live laugh garden, but today there's no laughter out here, only disgust. So when I came out and I was looking out my door and I'm like, what is that in front of me? So I came out and I look, and so I took the picture and I called the police. Called the police over the racist message spray painted on the street in front of her home. So when I saw it this morning, I'm like, oh my God. The N word, the message, N, go away. <laughs> when I saw this, <laughs> my heart was like, oh my God. I was like, oh my God. And I went inside, I had a camera on the table because I've been taking pictures. Skin color makes Penn feel like a prisoner in her own home. Does it disappoint you? Does it anger you? Does it make you fearful? Mm -hmm. All of the above. That in time like this, you can't, people don't like you because they don't want you. The N word, the ugliest word in the dictionary. Penn wants the painted words of hate gone. Yeah, why'd you call 10 on your side? Because I see you help people. I watch you. I watch you go knock on people's door and I'm not, I saw you get results. Now, Barbara Penn, we aren't going to show people. We'll show people at six, but you're looking down there now at what was there, all that ugliness. And how do you feel now? Oh, I feel so much better now. Don't give it away though. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell people what's coming up at six. At six, mm -hmm. you won't believe who showed up to help. Barbara Penn, you feel real good about that, Oh, too. yes. Yeah. I'm overwhelmed. She's overwhelmed. We're going to have that part of the story, and we also want to point out that the police, the Portsmouth police, just left here, mm -hmm. and they are taking this very seriously. They are investigating it, not as a hate crime, but as a suspicious crime, and we will have more on that coming up at 6, but this is a story that uh, uh, deeply troubles a lot of people and it deeply troubled Ms. Penn this morning and it's a shame that you went through that today. We'll have more of Barbara Penn's story coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.